Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Now we are beginning with a little bit of action. I ended the last episode right as we were getting raided. Um, these two chuckleheads are setting up some kind of psychic ritual to summon zombies, I think, to attack us. So we're going to need to go ahead and counter attack. So I'm going to go ahead and recruit our four colonists. Um, I'm going to leave Worm out of this. I think we technically could recruit Worm, but... We don't really need one person with a spear who may or may not get injured and I think we'll lose the quest if if Worm dies. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to have our colonists come up here and we're going to have them, I think, come down here and kind of get a jump on them. We need to interrupt this ritual before it's complete. Okay. Making sure Olga's gonna be in an okay place to do this. Yeah, he's just in a tiny little bit of pain. He's just recovering from some fox scratches, that's it. He'll be fine. Meanwhile, um, Crowbar is still recovering as well from the fox attack. Unfortunately, Crowbar actually lost an eye. I, I think I got it wrong last episode. I assumed that, um, he was like Gorilla, because Gorilla, we were saying, was going to be our pirate. But Gorilla actually is a pirate for different reasons. Gorilla lost a leg, not an eye. I checked. <laughs> I had it kind of backwards. Um, Minyaka, you're a little slow to the party. Okay, Olga, you're going to need to... The cultists are attacking. Yeah, we know they're attacking. Ouch. How much health can this this cheddar guy take? I swear we've shot him like at least like ten times already. This guy is truly a champion of constitution. Okay, well we're gonna keep kiting him. Okay. Now that we've taken out cheddar, we can go ahead and take out this next guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and move everybody just a little bit closer. We're gonna have Minyaka at the ready to intercept. But I don't think we're gonna need Minyaka. If we do our shooting right, he won't get close. Any permanent injuries? Jay, just a couple of bruises and cracks. No new injuries for Olga, fantastic, okay. Well, that was simple enough, easy as you like. Um, and let's check the stats on Marandil. He's a male, age 26. Do we want to recruit him? Um, he has zero artistic animals and social. He's incapable of cooking and cleaning. I don't like that he's incapable of cooking and cleaning. Mostly the cleaning, the cooking thing is, uh, who cares? Uh, he's pretty good at construction, though. He's not bad at melee and uh, shooting. But I think we're going to let him go because we wanted whoever we picked up to be good at medical, which he is, but also mining. And um, I he's not the miner we're looking for. Where's um, Olga? There we go. So I think we're just going to... What is this guy doing? Oh, he's just hauling in the steel axe. I thought he was going to do something with Miranda. Yep, so, oh well. These are not the guys. We're not anxious to get new people in uh, right now because we have plenty of people already, so we're really going to be picky with who we take in. I have to make sure they're actually really worth it. I'd ideally like to get some uh, women into the colony because right now, Jay and Olga are not partnered up. So if we did get another colonist, we'd have to build a whole new house for them. But now think about it. If we got a woman and one of these guys uh, started a romance with them, they could live together in the same house. And then we wouldn't have to build any new buildings. Oh my gosh, looks like we ran out of wood again. Wood is becoming more and more of a problem. 
we're gonna have because we keep having to you know look farther and farther afield to find you know appropriate wood to chop down so we might need to look into some more sustainable options for our base i think wood's going to become a lot less of an issue once we just use it for heating and we stop using it for our building material um, we did research stone working and uh, one thing that's on our list of things to do for this colony is to replace most of our buildings with stone buildings um, stone looks a little prettier it's a little stronger and more resilient to things like raiders trying to break in um, an angry colonist throwing a tantrum trying to break out um, so stone is definitely way to go it's also much less flammable and i think it it is impressive looking not not in my opinion in my in the colonist's opinion so if we go to wall First, we actually need to start cutting up some stone blocks before we can do anything. And right now, we have our big stone stockpile here. I think, I think we're gonna move the stone stockpile. So we're gonna create a new zone, dumping zone. And I think we're gonna like throw it back here or something. And the reason for this is, is I'm gonna put our like stone cutting workshop um, probably right down here as like a wing on the storage center. So if I go to structure, wall, wooden wall, we can create a stone cutting center like this. Um, we could probably also double it up uh, as a artist workshop as well. I think we'll do this. Give it a, just a little more space, a little more breathing room. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and let our colonists get working on that. I think we have some wood to chop before building this wood. This uh, building is even going to be feasible. Let's see, orders, chop wood. We could probably chop some wood over here as well. Somebody has tattered apparel. Olga has tattered apparel. Olga, what are you wearing that's tattered? It's your tribal wear. Okay, well, we can always build a new tribal wear. We have a new crafting bench. We can add build. And we can say, make tribal wear one. And we want to build it out of How much does it need? Requires 60 fabric or leather. Yeah, let's build it out of some kind of leather. Probably, preferably, not our bear skin or any of our like nice furs. Why don't we just like clear all and let's say you're allowed to build it out of plain leather or camel hide. There you go. So we have a um, another quest as well called Damage Shuttle. A new quest has become available. A shuttle of the Empire of God has taken damage and is seeking a place to land. Its commander, Elabus, wants to land at Azwar. Neanderthals from the people of Kikfo will attack the crash shuttle site in an attempt to kill its occupants. You must defend them. The shuttle contains Elabus and two Janissaries. If the commander, the commander must be rescued, but the Janissaries may be sacrificed. After eight hours, the shuttle will come to rescue the survivors. Uh, you'll need to get them all on board with, uh, within 12 hours. This is a charity quest. If you don't fulfill it, believers in shamanism will be unhappy due to their charitable beliefs. Okay, so Crowbar basically is our only person who believes in altruism. Of course, our colonists don't mind being altruistic, but it's not part of our religion. And they'll give us a book and some shuttle loot if we do it. Let's see. This is a book that improves mining skill. That would actually be worth having in our colony, seeing as our colonists lack mining skill. We might regret this. We might regret this, but let's do it. You'll need to get everybody on board in 12 hours. Okay, 
Let's give everyone a little time to rest up after the last raid before we start this um, quest. Actually, it expires in nine hours, so we kind of have to do it right now. All right. Let's do it. Okay. So here's the shuttle that we need to defend. And let's go about getting our guys over here to defend it. Actually, maybe not just yet. We can go and do some odd tasks around the colony while we're waiting for the raiders to arrive. We also have a boom rat that's self-tamed. Where is the boom rat? Animals. Um, we are going to release it to the wild. We don't want to slaughter it because these things explode when they're slaughtered or killed or anything. Okay, so just to be clear, how long did, the, did we have to make this last again? After eight hours. So we just need to sit here for eight hours and not let these guys die from raiders. That's too easy. So there's two Janissaries, which must be this guy and this guy. And there's one, this is the one guy that we need to defend, I think. Where are all the, the supposed raiders? If we just need to sit here for eight hours and quote unquote, keep them safe. This is the easiest quest ever. We can go ahead and go to furniture and we can go ahead and build a bookcase for ourselves while we wait. Where we can put all our books. We're gonna, we already have another quest for books. Okay, now here are the promised raiders. They are coming in hot. Okay. So let's get everyone over here. We promise to defend them and so we shall. Hopefully we haven't had too much friendly fire. Stab scar, bruise, bruise. Yeah, I don't think we have. Perfect. All right, everybody can get back to their business. Successfully defended that. Eventually, sometime soon, we do want to start climbing the ranks of the, uh, of the Shattered Empire. Get some, uh, get some nobility. Minyaka is in labor. All right. Um, why don't we go ahead and gather people for childbirth? But first of all, before we do anything, um, Tronka is going to need to clean this bedroom to make sure it's safe and ready. for the childbirth. We also need to pick our best doctor for this. And I know we're choosing between like very low doctor skills with everybody, but it looks like the best bet is gonna be Jay with the doctor skills three. Minyaka, of, of course, is slightly better than Jay, but she can't very well be her own midwife. Okay, so Tronka has cleaned this place and so it is all ready for Minyaka. So we're gonna go Minyaka gather for childbirth. Oh, this is not even Minyaka's room. I don't know what I was thinking. Tronka, I need you to clean this bedroom. Jay, I want you to also prioritize cleaning this bedroom. Okay. Quest complete damage shuttle. Fantastic. We successfully did it. Pods arrived. We should have. A new book. Can you go ahead and prioritize hauling this book for us, Olga? Thanks. All right. Now, how is this uh, room looking? 
Minyaka, can you go ahead and clean this room? I want to make sure... There we go. It's perfectly clean, so let's go ahead and gather for childbirth. Jay is going to be the doctor, Minyaka is the mother, Tronka is going to watch his daughter be born. I think this is good. Let's go ahead and begin the childbirth. Right. Minyaka's labor went from intense to debilitating. What is debilitating labor? The condition of being about to give birth? Okay, no, that's fine. I thought that meant that there were like complications or something. How are you doing, Minyaka? This is certainly a long childbirth. Normally it goes a lot quicker in this game, but I guess this is realistic, you know? Childbirths can last, you know, hours and hours on end. Okay, labor is in its final stages, and... Please be a healthy birth. No more infections. We have another sick, sickly child. I'll be really sad. All right, it says healthy childbirth, fantastic. Okay, perfect. The child, the baby has been giving a temporary name. No, we're gonna go ahead and name the baby. Um, its last name is gonna be Minyaka and its first name, Borneo Red. Oh my gosh. Sure, it can be Kamba. That's something that's pretty easy to say, Kamba. All right. Kamba and Crowbar are gonna be siblings and we didn't even check. Uh, it is a male baby. Okay, so we have a lot of males in the colony. Crowbar is actually a female. I think I might've been calling Crowbar a he for <laughs> a little while now, my bad. Slowly but surely our um, crafts, crafts area is being built. Uh, once we get stone cutting, um, a stone cutter's table up and running in here, we'll be able to start with stone. And I think we're going to start the stone in this building. And then um, our next priority will be our storage building. And then third priority will be our houses. And I think we might just leave the barn to be wood, to be honest. But maybe like later down the line, we can make the barn something that's not wood, less flammable. But it's just a barn. It's not like a super important building, so that's going to be lowest on our priority. Let's see what kinds of stone we have around the map. This looks like limestone or marble. It's limestone. And we have marble. But we don't have a lot of anything. We have limestone and marble here. We have limestone. We have a little bit of steel here. Okay. Limestone and marble it is. Marble is a really nice um, stone to work with. It's very uh, expensive, so it'll raise the value of our base a lot. So we need to be ready for bigger raids if we're gonna start building with marble. Um, I like to use marble to make artwork out of, cause that just feels like right. Cause you know, like a lot of like statues and stuff historically have been built out of marble. It seems like a good kind of sculpting type of stone. So. I like to do that in this game as well. Look at Tronka just having an afternoon read. You enjoying that new book? It's uh, It improves our mining skill, right? Yeah. How is your mining now? Level two. Hey, we won't complain. We definitely won't complain. Um, we definitely are still running really short on wood. So if I go to orders, we should probably just like chop down all this wood. Yeah, this is tough to deal with. Looks like Minyaka has recovered from uh, her pregnancy. She's got 
postpartum exhaustion. That's fair. She's a little bit malnourished. Well, Minyaka, why don't you go and eat something? I don't know why she's not going and eating something. Or maybe she's malnourished for a different reason. Maybe it's not how much she's eating, but what she's eating. I don't think the healthy... I don't think meat and rice is the healthiest diet. They need some vegetables. This game doesn't have a lot of options in the way of vegetables, though. <laughs> the crops that you can grow are like corn, potatoes, and rice. And it's like three big starchy foods with like little nutrition. Looks like somebody here is trying to convert uh, Crowbar. Or crowbar is trying to convert someone else. Looks like Crowbar was trying to convert someone else. I do remember now that we do need to be converting crowbar, so I'm going to go ahead and tell Minyaka to try to convert crowbar. It might end up pissing crowbar off just a little bit, but that's that's totally expected and fine. All right, certainty fell from 62% to 20%. All right, the next time we use our converting uh, power, I think crowbar will switch over to see, see eye to eye with us. One thing I want to get eventually is the carpet making technology. This will let us make our base a lot more pretty. We can put carpets in some of the bedrooms. We can put like a big like um, carpet design in our throne room, dining room-ish thing. I think it's going to be a throne room and dining room. I don't think it's going to be one or the other. Yeah. I think I like combining the two because it makes sense. You know, you have your throne and then you have like tables around the throne big long tables for all your like subjects to gather at sit down you can have like a feast in there too i think that'll look nice we can have like a carpet running down the middle and maybe like some like intricate design like a diamond in the middle or something we'll make something that looks nice i can't claim to be super great at design but i'm trying trying harder on this playthrough than i have really in any of my other playthroughs it is so easy in this game. It is so easy in this game to just automatically build everything in a rectangle and I'm really trying hard to resist that that temptation here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and build a door here and I'm gonna build a door here. We're gonna make this a kind of two-sided, we're gonna make this a two-sided building. What I wanna do is divide this room in half with some shelves. And on one side, we're going to have a stone cutter's table. And I would like to build it out of steel. Mm, maybe for now we build it out of wood. It just makes more sense though if the stone cutter's table is built out of steel. Um, but we'll build it out of wood for now. And then um, our second building is going to be a, um, an art bench on the other side and I think these two since they both use kind of stone as their primary medium are going to be good to have in the same room uh, we're going to finish off this room with a couple more shelves like this and we'll call it there for today I think we've made a lot of progress thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next episode